This is going to be a walk around video of the uh, Smith Dodge Charger truck kit and some of the features and specifications that you'll see on this car uh, really is the front end from the back edge of the rear door all the way to the nose of the car is stock charger there's no change underneath the car underneath this skin here you're gonna see the aluminum bed and we haven't really talked too much about it but that's a Ford Ranger tailgate we custom cut a lot of the aluminum pieces that are in this kit you can see all the hardware you know from the Ranger behind the door there this is a TIGGED inner fender. It has to be so large because there's a lot of pollution control equipment you know, on one side of the car where the gas cap is. And so in order to make it symmetrical, you do that to both sides. But this is eighth inch thick aluminum that we put in a press brake and form to form the bed. And this is a work truck, so pardon some of the mess. The bed itself, the floor of the, the bed is 6061. It's just a harder grade alloy. This is an extrusion. And that keeps things from scratching as you, uh, you know, use it on a daily basis. So that gives you, and then the floor, by the way, does unbolt and is removable so that your spare tire or your air ride system, whatever you choose to put in the back of the car, uh, you know, mostly a spare tire, can be used. The tail lights are out of a Dodge Caravan, if you recognize that. This particular car uh, was a Dodge RT. We have uh, a couple of cop cars here that we're going to be converting with the spotlight and everything. I think that's pretty cool. The wheels are our Hellcat replicas for six or seven hundred bucks. Big fat tires. I've talked about that before on the website. Um, but this gives you an idea. Underneath is the roll pan. Now remember, this is a wrapped 3M color. Uh, people seem to just love this color on the road. Um, as a 3M color, it just makes it really easy to match anything should, should you have damage. And remember, on a shop truck, you always get damage. The rear window, by the way, is out of a Chevy Colorado. All the stock lower sills are there, stock wheelbase. There's nothing structural done on this car other than taking the back doors off, taking the trunk off, removing the rear half of the interior and making it into a truck. The aluminum bed is the reinforcing part of the car. So the bed itself with some B-pillar supports reinforces and makes the car so strong. That leading wall right behind your seat, that wall goes all the way down to the floor. It's an eighth of an inch thick and it acts like, a, like an incredible cross member right through the middle of where the seat front edge would be so it's an amazing uh, connection for us we get to use that wall to tie everything together for a structurally incredibly strong truck this one's lowered two inches has the Hellcat rims a few add-ons and spoilers and things but otherwise a stock car